Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Today's Pokemon is the most romantic of Pokemon. Love this. And I'm sure a lot of you will recall encountering many of these while surfing across Hoenn. Love this was also a tremendous source of heart scales to teach Pokemon level one moves, such as letting Scizor learn Bullet Punch. Unfortunately, Love won't get you anywhere in the competitive scene. Well, I mean, I guess it might be useful for max power return. So we'll see how this goes. How good was Love Disc actually? And in this video, we'll be going over these competitive formats. Historically, the water type has boasted some of the best Pokemon in the game. OU is well known for its bevy of them, with Swampert and Suicune at the forefront of a proud list of excellence, while in UU, Amistar and Blastoise reign, among others. NU's waters aren't as impressive, but even the likes of Crawdon and Wailord are infinitely better than anything Love This can muster. And honestly, its problem isn't even its thoroughly bland move pool, as there are a lot of worse things than being a generic water type. The issue is that that its stats are just staggeringly awful. Let's put it this way. Squirtle of all Pokemon, yes, Squirtle, not even Wartortle, has higher HP, attack, defense, and special attack than Love Disc. Now, not by a lot, but it does. While Love Disc barely has more special defense, Love Disc's speed stat is actually quite decent, but it's not like it can do anything with it, and even if it manages to set up Rain Dance to activate its Swift Swim and give it a Surf Boost, it's not gonna get anywhere at all. Its special attack stat is so so abysmal that even a fully invested modest ice beam will never one hit KO a bulkless Salamence, who is quadruple weak to the move and not exactly known for its specially defensive prowess. It tops out at less than 98%. And for comparison, Squirtle does 92% minimum and one hit KO Salamence 56.3% of the time. Basically, Love Disc offers no competitive merit whatsoever. However, Love Disc is a firm believer in the power of self love and it knows that it doesn't have to counter. Tyranitar and Metagross in order to find worth in itself. It spends its time spreading this positive message to other Pokemon that might not feel great about not making it in OU, reminding them that the world of Pokemon is vast and that there's so much more to them than how many Fire Blasts they are able to withstand. Generation 4 brought some serious power creep, and all Love This got in the transition was Aqua Jet and Brine. Now, in theory, that makes for a cool set alongside Toxic and Protect, and with some entry hazard support, you can stall the opponent to half health, hit them with a double power Brine, and then attempt to put them in poison range with the follow-up Aqua Jet or something. But in reality, it was still Love This, and its appalling stats would let it down no matter what its move pool was. This was a Pokemon who had most stats pale in comparison to Totodile, after all. Even NU once was more beyond Love Disc's reach, with new Pokemon such as Floatso running around. Even the most thoroughly average Milk Toast waters such as Luminian and Fionn were endlessly superior to Love Disc. Not that this bothered our heart-shaped friend in the slightest, of course, as it was too busy being enamored with the addition of Captivate to its move pool, solidifying its place as the true master of all things Lovey Dovey and making it the go-to for any Pokemon with the Love Sick Blues. Love Disc could also make use of its access to bounce to successfully repel any unwanted advances, which was useful for it and its friends alike. Not that Love Disc was the one to complain, but it did seem a bit strange that Generation 5's Alomomola was not its evolution. It strongly considered going on the Mari Povitz show, but figured that kind of toxicity and drama was not conducive to the kind of healthy, positive, loving mindset it was trying to cultivate. Competitively speaking, it's to be expected by now. Everything was getting stronger, and Love Disc needed some insane buffs to approach being semi-viable, even down in NU. A requirement which was sadly not satisfied by the addition of Hydro Pump to its move pool and Hydration as an ability. It was a start, but it would require at least five more similarly significant buffs, ideally to its stats, to even approach the idea of being used competitively. Funnily enough, Love Disc was not allowed in OU with Swift Swim by virtue of the ability being banned alongside Drizzle, though that was more on principle than a product of Love Disc being unstoppable under those circumstances. That said, it was a wonderful sight to imagine Love Disc tearing through Tyranitar Ferrothorn and Latios and being barred from the tier as a result. Now, that'd be pretty funny, if only it were true. And Love This would laugh along with everyone else, but we all know that it's more of a lover of everyone having fun and honest competition and other such wholesome ideals. Competition aside, Love Disc's personal life was getting better than ever, as its new access to Scald allowed it to light the sky with a hunk of hunk of burning love, which made for many groovy nights as Love Disc and its blue suede pals boogied on the dance floor. 
Generation 6 brought about a metagame where Pokemon got bigger, stronger, and flashier, leading to constant changes as everyone tried to figure out how to handle them. However, this wasn't enough to sway Love This, who had a distaste for Tinder and hookup culture since it firmly believed that beauty was skin deep. It urged its friends to not go too crazy over Swampert, no matter how buff he was with his mega form. Love This didn't get anything itself, so it's no surprise that it wound up and remained unviable even in the new lowest tier, PU. Not that it minded too much of course, it was mostly busy being happy about hashtag love disc wins. It also gained the move confide, as it was finally ready to open up and be vulnerable to those closest around it, fully placing its trust in them and becoming happier as a result. The new generation came and it was the usual whatever, everything was stronger, love this didn't get anything, so on and so forth, it's not a gen 1 Pokemon. Except this time it didn't end up in the lowest tier because there was officially a new place for Pokemon unviable even in PU, which is called untiered, I'm sure you've heard me say that a million times already. But without the distractions of the competitive scene, love disc was free to focus entirely on itself and the results saw it happier than ever. It's not one to kiss and tell, but some rumors say that it was finally comfortable enough to start using Lucky Chant, warming the hearts of all its friends who only wanted the best for it. After all, who deserved love more than Love Disc? And that's it, so how bad was Love Disc actually? Well, in competitive terms, it's no surprise that it's one of the worst Pokemon that's ever existed. In a tragedy of Shakespearean proportions, besides being a symbol of love, Love Disc is one of the worst Pokemon in the game. We don't know if whoever decided to give it such abysmal stats was going through a bad breakup or something, but the fact is, Love Disc got a rough hand. But in the metagame of what really matters, love, it's been the very best, like no one ever was. Helping others while going on its own journey at its own pace. This Valentine's Day, we urge you to remember the teachings of Love This. All you need is love, and it can be whatever kind of love you have around you. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, if you like the video and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to False Swipe Gaming for more weekly Pokemon content. And in the comments, I want to know, what do you think about competitive Love This? Uh, I don't know, just do whatever. And thank you so much to our patrons for continued support of our videos. And thank you to everyone else watching as well. And follow my crew on these social media platforms. And that's all I got. See you next time, everyone.